Brett, 1995, can you remember how you felt as a young uh, Bankstown lad, um, having barely turned 16 and you were about to board a plane with Harry Kuehl and uh, heading over to Leeds United? I mean, tell us a bit about that experience. It was, um, I guess you could call it a dream come true. You, as a young boy, you, you grow up watching uh, the English Premier League on, on TV. So to, to have the opportunity to go there and um, mingle with, with some of the best players in the world um, in a league that you, you dream of hopefully playing in one day was something really special and um, something which I've, I've never forgotten. I think it really gave me that, that drive and, and de determination um, when I came back from that experience to to make a career of, of football? I mean, a professional career that's uh, gone on for 15 years. I mean, you had three years in Holland. There was uh, eight years at uh, the Rovers, Blackburn Rovers. Um, uh, you've also represented Australia over 90 times, which is uh, something that just amazed me. Uh, you, do you sit back sometimes and think, is it, how, how's this really happened? Yeah, it's been a... I mean, it's a lot of hard work, really, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of hard work. It, of course, um, a lot of hard work and uh, lots of ups and downs. But, um, I mean, when I, I look at look back at what I've been able to achieve, um, I'm really proud of, of uh, what I have achieved and uh, it's not over yet. Uh, still playing at Sydney. Um, getting on a little bit now, but uh, a few years left in me and uh, oh, well, hopefully to... Keep those 2 nil wins uh, against Melbourne and yeah, you're fine. Yeah, moving keep, keep in the right happy. direction. But, uh, <laughs> That's right. No, it's, um, no, it's, been, it's been amazing. And um, I, I guess without the, the help of BBM and, and being able to, to go over to England and experience what it takes to, to become the best and what it takes to be a, a professional footballer, I, I mightn't be in a position where I am now. Any advice for our awardees this evening? I guess just to to make the the most of the opportunity because um, they don't come very often and like you say a lot of hard work it, it doesn't matter how much natural ability you have in whatever line of work um, it can only take you so far so you need to work hard at what you enjoy doing and um, the rest will take care of itself. Right now, Pedge, let's uh, let's pass the microphone over here. Congratulations on having just signed a two-year deal. With, uh, with Sydney FC. Fantastic. You must be happy about that. Oh, well, yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, Thank great. Um, now, now, what year... <laughs> I'm so upset by that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get that answer. Um, <laughs> which year were you awarded uh, a BBM Youth Support uh, Award? Can you remember the year? Um, you told me 2000, so I thought it was 99. Uh, 90, well, I was going on 16. 90, 2000 was when you actually flew out, so it yeah. probably was uh, November 99 that you received the award. Um, what did the award help you achieve? The, like the, that, that, that cash money is very important. So airfare, what, what, what was it? I, mean, I went shopping, I bought a lot of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Spend that money, no. <laughs> no, it was great. Obviously, it gave me the opportunity to go across to England yeah. um, to trial with Ipswich Town at the time it yeah. was. Um, it was a great experience, the month that I spent there. Um, I did get rewarded with a four-year contract. Uh, I was unfortunate that I couldn't continue with that due to a visa situation. Yeah. Um, but that just gave me more ambition to come back and try and strive to become better. I mean, the, the, the teams here, Parramatta Power, um, Sydney Olympic, um, and then, of course, Northampton. Um, injury brought you home, Central Coast Mariners. Uh, your story is one, in a very short career, of lots of ups and downs. And I, I guess perhaps you may have something to say to the awardees tonight about how to keep going when those adversities hit you. Yeah, um, when I was having an injury in England, as a young boy, being a footballer as that you want to be, you, all you do is want to play and play at the level as Brett has. Um, so when you get an injury and the last thing you'll know is, well, football may not be there. And lucky enough to my wife, who pretty much changed me around, brought me home, made me do my studies in personal training, which I am a personal trainer as well, by the way. Um, Anyone need a trainer? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got my own business as well, as well as continuing playing football, which was part of the, the deal when I came home. Um, and I thank her a lot for that. It made me grow up to be the person who I am now. If I wasn't, I'd probably be lost playing somewhere else, chasing that goal that may not have happened again due mm. to the injury. Um, and thankfully now I've had a few good years at Mariners, now at Sydney, and the PT business is taking care of itself. All right, fellas, thank you very much. Please make uh, Brett and Peach very welcome.